Hey everyone, what's up? Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up intrusion detection on our AI base NVR and then use it to trigger sound and activate alarm lights. First, plug your cameras into the built-in PoE ports on the back of the NVR, you're now good to go. You'll see the feed from all four IP cameras pop up on your local screen. Oh, and don't forget to bring along a local monitor if you're doing this on-site. Now let's dive into setting up the intrusion detection. Firstly, move your mouse to the left-hand corner, click the window icon for the menu, and click Setup from the menu. Next, find AI and click AI. Inside the AI option, you should be able to find the Perimeter Intrusion Detection PID, option, and choose Channel 1. Then click the gear icon for detection rule configuration, left-click and drag your mouse to draw a yellow area as your detection zone. Don't forget to enable the rule switch, and remember to click Save at last. Now that we've got Channel 1's intrusion detection set up, let's move on to configuring the recording schedule for it. Still on the AI page, click on the last option called Schedule. Here, choose Channel 1, then hit Enable. After that, click on the little red dot next to PID Intrusion Detection. Make sure you've selected that red dot. Now, drag the recording time slider all the way from the left to the right, covering the entire week from Monday to Sunday, 24 hours per day. This means intrusion detection recording will happen round the clock, don't forget to apply the settings. Great! Channel 1's intrusion detection is all set up. Now, let's head back to the AI page and select PID again, but this time for Channel 2. Same drill as before, click the gear icon to start rule configuration. Once that's done, draw a yellow box on the screen to define the intrusion detection area. Don't forget to toggle on Rule Enable, and then hit Save to enable your settings. Now that Channel 2's intrusion detection is set up, let's configure the recording schedule for it. Again, head over to the AI page, go to the last option, and click Schedule. Select Channel 2, then hit Enable. After that, click on the red dot next to PID Intrusion Detection. Make sure the red dot is selected. Now, drag the recording time slider from left to right, covering the entire week from Monday to Sunday, 24 hours per day. This ensures intrusion detection recording happens around the clock. Lastly, click Apply to apply settings. Alright, now that we've covered setting up intrusion detection and recording for Channel 1 and Channel 2, the same process applies to Channels 3 and 4. If you have additional channels, like Channels 5, 6, 7, and 8, just follow the same steps we discussed earlier for Channel 1 and Channel 2. Next up, let's see if you need siren, strobe lights, or both. If you're up for it, let's dive into setting up strobe light alarms for Channel 1. Lead the way. Set up strobe light for Channel 1. Step 1, head back to the main menu, then click Alarm, and select Deterrence. Choose Channel 1. You'll see options for Light and Warning Light. Light refers to the supplementary light, while Warning Light means strobe light. Now enable Warning Light. Then, look below for Warning Light Schedule. Remember to select the PID Intrusion Detection red dot first. Then, toggle on the PID Warning Light switch. Finally, below, use your mouse to select the time period you want the flashing light to be active. For example, you can choose from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. You'll see the time bar highlighted in blue, then click Save to enable settings. Alright, Channel 1's intrusion detection linked with flashing light alarm is all set up. Following the same steps, let's configure flashing light settings for Channel 2. We'll head to the same page, Alarm, then Deterrence. Here, select Channel 2. Enable Warning Light, and then navigate to Warning Light Schedule on the right. Just like before, choose the PID Intrusion Detection red dot first. Don't forget that. Then, switch on the PID Warning Light switch. Finally, below, select the time period you want the flashing light to be active. For instance, you can choose from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. You'll see the time bar highlighted in blue. Lastly, click Save to apply settings. All right. We've got the intrusion detection strobe light alarm set up for channel 1 and 2. If you have channels 3, 4, 5, or 6, just follow the same steps. Now, let's tackle the next request. The customer wants the camera to automatically sound an alarm when intrusion detection is triggered. Let's set up the alarm sound for intrusion detection. Step 1. Head to the main menu, 
Find the alarm option, then click on the option, and then click on the siren option. Here, select channel 1, and then turn on the enable option to enable the siren. Below, you'll see a siren level where you can adjust the volume of the alarm. Then, at the bottom, there's a siren schedule. Click on it, and a window will pop up. Remember to first select the PID intrusion detection red dot. Then, enable the PID siren switch. Once it's enabled, use your mouse to select the time period you want the alarm sound to be active. For instance, you can choose from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. You'll see the time bar highlighted in blue, just like this. Got it. Once you're done, remember to click Save to apply the settings. Alright, we are all set for Channel 1 Siren settings for perimeter intrusion detection. Now it's time for Channel 2. Return to the same Siren settings page, here, select Channel 2 instead of Channel 1, and then turn on the Enable option to enable the siren. Below, you'll see a Siren level where you can adjust the volume of the alarm. Then, at the bottom, there's a Siren schedule. Click on it, and a window will pop up. Remember to first select the PID intrusion detection red dot. Then, switch on the PID siren switch. Once it's enabled, use your mouse to select the time period you want the alarm sound to be active. For instance, you can choose from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. You'll see the time bar highlighted in blue, just like this. Got it. Once you're done, remember to click Save to apply the settings. The intrusion detection alarm sound settings for channel 1 and channel 2 are all sorted out. If you've got channels 3, 4, 5, or 6, just follow the same steps. After setting up intrusion detection and configuring the flashing light and alarm sound triggers, the next step is to enable mobile push notifications for intrusion detection alerts. Let me guide you through the process. To get mobile notifications, the first step is to get the app. Our app is called AI Color. After you install it on your phone, scan NVR QR code or manually input the P2P code, input NVR username and password, you can now view the camera footages after adding the NVR to your app. Once logged in, first tap on the menu icon at the top left corner of the screen. This will lead you to the main menu where you need to select notification from the menu options. Next, you need to tap on the gear icon at the top right corner of the screen. Identify your NVR from the list and then tap on the gear icon next to your target NVR. In the subscription section, deselect all previously selected subscriptions, then enable human and vehicle notifications only. Once human and vehicle notifications are enabled, tap on the save button at the top right corner to save the settings. After setting everything up, your customers might want to verify if the intrusion detection notifications are actually working right. Here's what they can do, once all configurations are done, they can go to the live feed of channel 1 or channel 2. Then, they can walk into the predefined intrusion detection area. They should keep an eye on their mobile app to see if they receive any push notifications. If they haven't received any notifications, they should check if the AI Color app has permission to send notifications on their iPhone or Android device. Usually, this permission is enabled by default, but it's worth double-checking just to be sure. The customer might ask, if I have guests arrive at my house, and I don't want the alarm lights to be triggered and scare my guests, can I manually temporarily disable this alarm function on the mobile app? Alright, let's kick things off by opening the app AI Color, then go to app's homepage. You should be able to see all the camera live video there. Now, pay attention, right in the middle bottom of this page, you'll see your NVR's name. Next to the name, there's this little shield icon. Tap on that shield, and you'll see the disarm function, the disarm status is off by default. If you switch it on, all the alarm lights or sounds will be gone. This is a very good feature, we call it, one-click alarm or disarm feature. When your guests leave, and you want to re-enable your camera alarm and siren functions, make sure you go back to the same page and turn the disarm status off, so your regular alarm schedule goes back to normal. Alright, your phone has received the push notifications, and the settings for intrusion detection triggering alarm flashing lights and sound have been configured as well. If you still have any questions after watching the video, please schedule a time with our AI-based color technical team. We'll assist you remotely with the setup while you're on site. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more video tutorials. Remember to follow us.